Hi, Mark. My mom just got out of the hospital. I'm moving to take care of her. What about Emma? She has to come with me. tries to go around the opposition, stunning them with his magical footwork. Oh, but she steals the ball like a thief in the night. Emma's left all alone. She shoots. So, how you been? Good. Good. Can Daddy come over for dinner tonight? I guess, if he's not planning on working. trip to New York. <laughs> Pretty busy. A lot more work than I thought, you know, meeting after meeting. A couple positions did open up, though, which was still retired. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. I, uh, I heard the supervisor position opened up. <sighs> Come on, Mark. You know you're 10 years too young for that. I know I'm young, but you know I work almost twice as many hours as everyone else. You do, but I'm willing I don't know. to do whatever it takes. Come on. Have I ever let you down? The interview is in two days. Don't make me look like an idiot. Don't worry about it. Want to hear something exciting? Sure. You might be looking at a future executive. My interview's Friday. That's great. Things, uh, things could be different if I get it, you know. I'd have more time for Emma. Mark, we are not going over this again. She is coming with me. Lisa, look. When I get this job, I can pay someone to stay with your mom. Nothing has to change. My mom doesn't need someone else. She needs me. But Emma needs me. No, what Emma needs is a dad. Not someone who's just gonna play with her for an hour once a week. You still going out tomorrow? Yeah. I'll pick her up in the afternoon. Someone's excited to see you. Daddy! Hey, pumpkin. Oh. So what do you want to do today? Mm, I don't know. Well, I have a few ideas. Based on the rough terrain and the slight northeasterly breeze, this is a tough shot. Piece of cake. All right. I'll listen to the professional. All right, you win. What are we doing next? <laughs> Thank you.
mom said there's a soccer team out there that I might be able to play for by grandma's house. That's great. So, are you excited about heading out there? I guess. You guess? Well, all my friends are staying here. I like my friends here. And I won't have any fun at grandma's house. Maybe Grandma can help you with your homework. When I graduate second grade, will you be there when I graduate? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Big news, Mark. Any dessert for us today? Have whatever you want. I just got off the phone with the execs and, uh, I think I got them pretty excited about you. What size would you like? Extra large? All right. See you tomorrow. You ready to go? Somebody shouldn't have ordered a large. Emma? Emma, are you okay? Were there peanuts in that? Hello? Does Emma have an EpiPen with her? What? Does she have it with her? No, it's here at home. Mark, is she alright? I don't know. Get it ready. We'll be there soon.
Ready? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Yes. Tell us about yourself. I'm a hardworking man who stands out because of my dedication to this company. I worked here full-time in college and nurtured my department to become one of the most profitable in the company. What can you offer that someone else can't? <clears throat> I've been here seven years, but I have the experience of someone who's been here 20. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years? I... I hope to be successful. What would you say has been your greatest success so far? I don't know. Well then, could you tell us about your greatest weakness? Mark! What is your greatest weakness? Success. I don't know what it is anymore, but I think I think I know where to start looking. <laughs> <laughs> 